Hi there, Cook My Brent friends. Happy New Year to everybody. Today we're doing the uh, fried chicken the way we do it in my family. I'm using uh, thighs today. You can use breast or wings or drums or whatever you like. I just happen to, I'm a thigh guy myself. So here we have uh, my bag of flour, and I've got about the three cups of flour, a tablespoon of sea salt. That's what I like to use. You can use any kind of salt you like. Um, tablespoon of uh, black pepper and uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. So what we're going to do is take our thighs, get them in our bag here. Always make sure that your uh, chicken is thawed, it's frozen. We're just going to do two at a time here. And I've got about a quart and a half of vegetable oil here in my electric frying pan and it's on uh, 425 degrees. And we'll go ahead and get all the other two in there too. What I'm going to do is toss them in here. Get them coated with our seasoned flour. Let's put this out of the way. And always make sure to seal your bag up so you don't get flour all over the place. And if you're uncertain if your oil is hot enough, you can always uh, take a little bit of flour and do a little pinch on top of it. We'll do that in just a second. I'm going to make sure all my chicken's coated here. That's the way I learned to do it. My mama Becky Schmidt put some of the best chicken in the world, in my opinion. But I may be kind of biased because she's my mama and it's just delicious chicken we've always had growing up. Alright, now we got our chicken coated. In here we get just a little bit of flour. We got some sizzle going there. Where I can see that. Huh? So we're gonna get in here and get our chicken out. Make sure it's coated good. I like to put the skin side down first. It's very important also when you're laying anything in fat or oil or butter and it's hot always to lay it away from you. And you don't want to put too much oil in there because as you add your chicken it's going to increase the volume. of the oil. We're going to put, put our lid on here and just let this go for, uh, we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. These are kind of big. So we'll get back to you shortly and we'll finish. We'll flip it over and see how we go from there. See in just a second. All right, we're about halfway through 15 minutes here. And what I want to do is uh, check the chicken just to make sure that we don't have our temperature too high. We don't want burnt chicken. Oh yeah, we got a nice golden brown going. Oh yeah. We're going to cut this boy back off and maybe turn it down just about 25 degrees. And then we'll be back in about um, six, seven minutes. All right, come on, Brent friends. Here we are. We're done in 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and get our chicken flipped over here. Remember, turn away from me. Plug it up. Nice golden brown crust there. We're just a little bit darker. Put our lid back on. And we're going to turn this back up. Put a 425 zone. Let's go back over a couple things here. We started with a uh, quart and a half oil, 425 degrees, is vegetable oil. Floured our uh, chicken, our seasoned flour, salt, pepper, all purpose flour, and a little bit of uh, cornstarch. We get uh, 
that are down in oil, 15 minutes, and this golden brown crust. And we're going to let this go for 10 minutes here, and then we're going to uh, come right back and uh, see how, how we're doing here on our temperature. All right, I let these guys go for about uh, 12 minutes here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them back over because I want them to be just a little bit darker golden brown here. Well, we've got those special mic on the Go ahead of myself. Just a little bit darker. Oh, yeah, that's nice on the bottom. Tell me one on top. Okay, let's turn down this a little bit. I'm going to let these guys go for about another five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take one out and do the temperature on it. We always want our chicken to be at least a minimum of 160 degrees. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. And we'll be back uh, shortly. All right, and we're back. And I believe we have... Little up here. Oh yeah. Nice crispy little brown skin right here as you can see. I'm just gonna let these guys that's the biggest one. Let's go take a temperature on it. Like I said we want to make sure that our ready. 160 degrees. Make sure the chicken's cooked all the way through. And if the big one's done, we know the rest of them are done. Oh, yep. Past 160. Almost to 190. Go ahead and turn this oil off. Nice and going brown. And you want to do this with, uh, like I said, you can use breasts or wings or drumettes or whatever your your flavor is. I'm a I'm a thigh guy, wing guy. You know, I like the darker parts of the chicken myself, but that's just how I do it. So there we are. We've got our chicken. We are nice and golden brown there. Boom! I hope everybody enjoys. I got my. Uh, Ranch mashed potatoes I was making while we were doing the chicken. I'm going to do a little bit of buttered corn. And it's time for dinner. Hope everybody enjoys. Have a happy new year. We'll see you soon.